For a while, we've been thinking to make a trip not just for the fun of it, but to experience something much bigger. So we decided to come to Africa. And we wanted to make a film not about us this time, not about free running, but about a subject that in my opinion needs more attention and about people that have a much more extreme lifestyle than ours. We are in Dagama, which is a Christian Catholic mission run by the Franciscan Sisters of Assisi. It is set in Luantia, in the Copper Belt province of Zambia, Africa. We are here to give our support together with the non-profit organization SMILE from Italy. We deal with sponsorships and adoptions, we visit the nutrition centers and we help in handing out food and clothes to the people. Dagama itself has um, a school for the disabled and has the sisters in the convent with so many projects going on around the Gama. The sisters, they're really funny and really young. Uh, they're my age, so they are really young. <laughs> the lifestyle they're following is just amazing and I think they sacrifice a lot in their lives, so much respect. One day again I was just filming and I saw the sisters in one of these uh, huge containers they have here in the field and they were selecting you know, clothes for people that have nothing. And it was really, really cool to see them at work. We are selecting things here. We see people don't have clothing, kids. We have plenty of them for the kids, just like this one, see? So if we see someone without, we give them this. They also have a school, and some of the nuns are, are teachers in the school. We have a, a primary school together with the secondary together with the sisters community or a convent. We have the children, they are disabled children. They have different type of challenge. Some have been abandoned with their family members and they just need someone to talk to them and help them to feel that they are part and puzzle like any other person. For those like there's one who doesn't have hands, would use just the mouth to write. I come to school around 07.30 and if I have a class at that time then I begin my lesson at 07.30. Uh, since they're different subjects, well, me I'm only specialized in science. Other teachers are teaching other subjects like mathematics, English and religious education. <laughs> the people in the Gama here they grow their own veggies and fruit and they've got 1,500 chickens and uh, I think around 80 pigs of which 60, 63 little ones, I think, piglets. So what, what are you making here then? Um, something like peanut butter for the children. Okay, for nutrition? Yes. Ah, so the proteins. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Through the sisters runs the nutrition centers that are here in Guansha. Nutrition centers are the centers built for the malnourished children. Well, we have children that are under five and are under malnourished. They get other food supplements that we provide, which uh, they can't afford from home. Some of them they are very desperate. Some of them they are orphan. Some of them are HIV positive. And some of them, their parents, they are disabled, so you find that they are just in the house. They can't move out to look for, for food. We went to Walale Nutrition Center, and that was a really heartwarming experience. The day we went, there were 280 kids, but the nutrition center actually holds 700 children. The lady started to cook, and I actually tried to make polenta as well, which is a cornmeal, so a, a huge pot of cornmeal paste and we gave it to the kids. We are preparing shima for the children. The relish is done and the vegetables. After that, we are going to save the children. When I was in this room with 200 kids, and literally, I was surrounded, you know, and I felt something I never felt before. The emotions you feel there, 
It's undescribable. We went to Ibenga, which is another small town half an hour from here, from Luansha, and we went there to deal with uh, adoptions and sponsorships. Most of the sponsored children have no parents anymore because they die of HIV. Usually that's the generation of the 1980s when the HIV spread out. The sponsorship is very useful, especially to us people of Zambia. It has really helped many people because some people like the way I see it, like this for the school. Once they go to school, then they have something to do in the future. Because once they're not going to school, we have a lot of thieves around and people will be moving in market because they don't have work. So I'm really appreciating of that. He's selling some vegetables and tomatoes at the market, okay. yes. In Ibenga, we also went to St. Margaret Hospital nearby, which is one of the best hospitals in the surrounding. They have a physiotherapy department and a maternity department. From Ibenga, we went to Chibote on the same day. Chibote is, or used to be at least, a village of people hit by leprosy. There are still a few lepers around, and even though they still carry the marks of the disease, they're now healed. They're missing maybe fingers, or toes, or hands. There are a lot of kids, and they were really cute. As soon as they saw the van approaching, they ran towards the van, and they, they just started screaming and smiling, and they were so happy. And as soon as we got down, they were asking for sweets. <laughs> There's a school there, again, built by the association Smile. They also try to, to build toilets and showers. Uh, the conditions are not great, to be honest. So these people really have nothing. Some areas where people start drinking very early in the morning, they shan't compounds. But still, they know the sisters. Normally, they wouldn't attack you. But some people are being killed, yes. We went to Kapepa today, which is another school for kids. And again, it was a very good experience. And I took like hundreds of pictures to them. They're so beautiful. They're really beautiful. Uh, this is an outskirt of Wansha town. Yes, and uh, we have a community school. Some of them, you see when they finish, they even excel more. You know, if you continue supporting them like that, they even, they're even able to, to train and they settle, which is very good. After two weeks, we have unfortunately reached the end of our trip. I would just say to everyone, go out there and do what you can to help others. If you have a chance, you have to visit Africa and you have to have an experience as we did because it really opens your eyes, your hearts, and it can change your lives. <laughs>